Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Yes, you read that title correctly, so let's jump right in. And special thanks to Leanne Westwater for sharing this. If you aren't familiar with Jonathan Clack, this is his Facebook page. And if we scroll down, we can see a picture of him doing a video. He's also got a website we can click on that takes us here. It says he's been blessed with a spiritual gift and prophetic utterance. And if we click that, we get a page with some mystical insight to pyramids being our enemy. He's also got a YouTube channel that has 11,500 subscribers, yet there's very few videos. But we can definitely see it's him. It looks like this site started in 2013. Now, I was trying to find the actual site of his, but came across this one, Warrior for Christ. And as we can see, it's got lots of videos by Jonathan Kleck. But this isn't his site. It's a mere site from one of his followers. But it does give us his real site here. So why all the mystery and confusion to find his site under a different name? Well, maybe it's because he has been exposed as a false teacher and false prophet already. I'll leave this playlist below if you want to check it out later. The top video does show him and his wacky conspiracy theory prophecies that the Lord supposedly gave him and did not come true. He also teaches other strange stuff like humans are fallen angels. But what's most troubling is his story that he met Michael the Archangel and was told to do a Hail Mary. Getting ready for Grand Junction. Here we go. So now that everything's been revealed, all the data, the Lord showed me this was the last piece of the puzzle to give you. It goes all the way back to the night I got saved in the alley. First, I prayed Our Father, water and light came down on me. I prayed to a male figure, Our Father. Water and light came down on me. I was filled with the Holy Spirit. Then Michael looked at me and said, you say, Hail Mary. As I, even though it seemed wrong, even though I didn't know why it seemed wrong, the reason was a new spirit had taken over, taken up residency inside of me. I was born again of the spirit. Instead of a superhuman angel demon, I became a, I became a new creation. The Holy Spirit was in me now. So then when he said, you say Hail Mary, as I said the words, I felt life and light leaving my body. Life and light leaving my body. So when I prayed our Father, life and light came in. When I said the Hail Mary, life and light went out. And now watch this, I'm gonna act it out. Here's this, right here. One walks straight up to me and stands in front of me. Okay, his name's Michael. He's an archangel. And he goes, pray with me, my brother. Here, Chris, do me a favor. Back up just a bit and just back up a bit. And I'm sitting here. He wa He's waiting right here. He's waiting for this to hit the ground. As soon as it hits the ground, I'm standing there. He walks up and goes, pray with me, my brother. And I'm standing there. And then he comes alongside of me. And we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And then in that moment, guys, water and light came down. And I'm going to look up at this wall. Water and light came down on me right here in this alley. And I was instantaneously instantaneously transformed and I was just it was unbelievable and then Michael looks at me and he goes now say a Hail Mary and I looked at him and I was confused I, I mean I was filled with power guys I mean I was born again I was a totally different creature and so, so I'm sitting there going wow and this is what happened and so then he says, do it, so I do it, and, I, and nothing happens. So he was showing me that that was it. Whether this is a totally made-up story or he had an encounter with a fallen angel, only God knows. But for one, we know if it was Michael the Archangel, there is not a chance he would have told Jonathan to say a Hail Mary. And number two, reciting the Lord's Prayer is not what makes someone born again. And this is why we are told not to believe every spirit, but to test them. So Jonathan is a proven false prophet 
and he's deceived, or he's just a flat-out liar. Yet, he has 10.4 thousand subscribers on YouTube and over 6,000 followers on Facebook. He even appears to be a nice guy, helping people in need. But that doesn't change the fact that he is a proven false prophet, deceived himself, and maybe even intentionally deceiving others. If you are watching this, Jonathan, you did not meet Michael the Archangel, and that moment you had reciting the Lord's Prayer did not make you born again. You need to stop teaching, repent, and truly become saved, and I pray that you do. But for anybody that is following Jonathan, please watch the playlist I'll include in the description below and realize that he's not someone you should be learning from. We are going to leave it here for today, but as always, leave your thoughts and comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.